Hi, Capricorn. How goes it? Something is popping. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. It's either you or the person involved. Let's see the energy for Capricorn, please. And thanks. I hope you were well, of course. So, wow, Archway. Someone had this. Who was it? Was it you? So you have new opportunities. You're coming from a place of desolate energy, okay? You could feel barren, like something is empty. But it's going to be filled. Your cup will be filled in the coming period because you have a new opportunity. A possibility is going to be made known to you. And your path will open up here. So we're going to take a look further. Ooh, bottom of the deck. Um, too much concern with SUL matters. Interesting. So it could be that. Maybe someone wants to make love. All right. Supportive energies for Capricorn in the coming period. It's an older woman. Interesting. So it could be a relationship, older woman, younger woman, whichever one you are. But anyway, you do have an older feminine energy who's very supportive and loving toward you this time. All right. This is also wisdom. I'm hearing martyrdom. Maybe it's about martyrdom, but you have wisdom coming in. Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Very nice. All right. So tell me, where's Capricorn and this older woman and the supportive energy? Someone is really vouching for you, backing you up. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. We're going to look at that. Yes, we are. Maybe somebody's informing you of this. Is it you, Capricorn? I asked where you were, and it says someone you know is undependable and insincere. So you know about this. All right. So we're going to get to that as well. The unsupportive energies or the not so supportive energies in the reading or the energy today for Capricorn, my love, please. Thank you, spirit. That someone is going out of your life in the end of a situation is not very supportive to you at this time. Dealing with a relationship with a younger woman. So definitely there's two feminine energies in this reading today. Maybe this is family. Sure. We're going to get to this. But one more here on the unsupportives. Well, yoke. Someone is not equally yoked, my dear. Okay. You should accept valid criticism. Ah, so is that what this is? Someone is saying that maybe you're not being very dependable, Capricorn. Now, now let me tell you, I'm going to read the read and how it comes out. And you can decide which energy you are, but please don't take it personal. Because this is my job to read the energy as it comes out. Okay. Thank you for understanding. So show me the archway for the person. It could be that you just haven't decided your new and your new possibility as well. That could come off as undependable and insincere as well. Yeah, of course. Like you need to display some uh, flexibility here. Salvation. Ah, mastery. Interesting. Where's Capricorn in the archway? Ambition. No wonder. Salvation and mastery and ambition. Capricorn, you're going back to it. You have let this squander. That's what it is. Okay. Now you have an advisor here. You are being advised to go back to what you know, what you believe, something that lights your heart's passion aflame. Okay. Because you have a new ambition here and you're changing paths. This is beautiful, actually. But maybe at times you waver. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. The thing is, there's something here that's keeping you stuck. We're going to look at that. I see it leaving, though. So you will be receiving valid criticism, whether it's me saying something to you and, you know, maybe it can be seen as a critique or the, I feel like there's a person around you who's giving you this. Like, I feel like you have a mentor. Let's say it like that. Or someone who really is rooting for you, but they want you to be more dependable. Think straight, Capricorn. Put your head on right. Okay. Do what you need to do to be dependable. There's ambition coming in and maybe they're a little concerned about the way that you're handling this. So, Nike. So this is 38, 83. These could be messages for you. Years, dates, ages, uh, something like that. Like 3, 8 or 8, 3 as well. But this is also 11. 
And 44 is a master number, and it's about mastery. You're mastering something. You're becoming a master at something, so you're learning. And you feel very strongly about this path right now because it's opening up to you. You have so much possibility here. This is amazing, actually. You will master this. If you keep on keeping on, you're going to master this path, and it's going to be so beautiful for you. Something that you are already decided about here. You're about to decide on this new possibility. Yeah. So death and magic. I feel like that's here. So we're going to get to that. So what is this supportive energy with feather? Oh. Generosity and wisdom. I told you wisdom, didn't I? Yeah. I told you that. Mastery. Yeah, there's someone. Maybe you have a mentor or someone that you look up to that's done it before you. They've walked the path before you. And you're learning from this person. You could be a teacher. You could be a student. All right? Um, maybe this is someone in your family that's, like, telling you this. But like I said, there's wisdom. I told you this is wisdom coming in. It's very supportive to you. So you know something. You're going to know something. There's generous amounts and abundance of wisdom around you right now with Oshun generosity. So much wisdom to be had. This is going to build your path forward with the fours repeating because I'm seeing a lot of, yeah, and this makes an eight from 35. Abundance. There's a new path opening up. This is beautiful. Okay. When is the not so supportive energies to my cap regarding this? So you're going to receive criticism and I feel like take it. Because someone is meaning well for you. This older feminine energy. Reverence. Divine wisdom. One second here. I'm going to put my headphones in so I don't get distracted. Okay. Again, there's wisdom here. So something could feel interesting. You're giving up something for another thing. That's what this is. And I feel like you could have a little bit of fear because you've you've garnered enough respect or mastery where you actually are or with whom you are dealing. There's something with the divine wisdom as well that has, I feel like you've kind of grown out of this though. So now you're ready for more growth, but it's almost like you could feel a little stuck, maybe scared at times, maybe this was right for you at one point here. But now you're kind of trying to find your way into this new opportunity, but you're seeking out more information, which it looks really good. So I wonder if this person is the one that's giving you the criticism. I feel like it is. Show me Capricorn and the ambition. Beautiful. The king of swords, very intelligent. Wow. And the tower? Oh my gosh. There you are. You're going to create such a huge breakthrough here. You're going to just get an idea like a flash of lightning with the Nike energy. It's coming in quick. This idea is very smart. You're intelligent. This new idea that you have can take you places. But it comes in and it's quite unexpected. So now you could feel like you're keeping up with two hats that you wear, two responsibilities, two different maybe jobs or professions to you could have like dual agency or you could have dual uh, degrees or you're seeking out some sort of certification. Well informed, very intelligent Capricorn. Tell me about this King of Swords and my Capricorn's energy. The two of swords, someone is um, your op or at odds with you. It could be another Capricorn, a Libra, an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, but it does look like there's someone who's surprised by your choices during this time. 
you are very divided, very split here because you're making up your mind. And this new energy looks very promising, but you have to tread carefully. Tell me what this is. The world card. Yeah, you're getting ready to end something. You're looking for this new path. There's a wealth of information and also just straight up wealth involved. So family, longevity, long term, you're looking at the, the details of this. You're looking way down the line. You're thinking ahead. OK, I feel like you could, again, feel a little bit afraid at times. You could be ending something with a Virgo or this is um, something you were dealing with. Could be information. You appear to do something very cerebral here. So, huh. Fifth house, Neptune and Taurus. Yeah, you're going to feel super passionate about this. This is like a dream opportunity that's coming in or this idea like, man, I've always wanted to do this. Why did I ever stop? Or why did I not pursue this sooner? So it's just going to dawn upon you. I see this. Wow. Now you have to make smart moves here. I see too. Who's the other energy or person in the reading? The tower. Yeah, this person is surprised is what I'm seeing. They're surprised that you're busting out, you're breaking out, you're doing something new. So have you told them this yet? I don't know if you have, but they're going to be quite surprised with your new idea or your new path here. They feel scared, okay? Someone feels a little shaky or scared about it. Maybe this is where the criticism is coming in as well. Show me this older woman in Feather. Who's this older woman? I feel like older woman could just be wisdom here, by the way. It's very supportive. You're very smart. Who's here? The Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy. Yes, yeah, someone really cares. Yeah, more Taurus and judgment. Wow. There's a massive realization and awakening here. Tell me what the Six of Pentacles is. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone feels you have a blind spot. So they're going to be telling you this. It's like, what, what if you do it this way? Or spend your time wisely, Capricorn. Like someone feels like you really need to spend your time wisely. So you guys could be at odds a little bit at times because I feel like you see things a little bit differently. Like... Maybe somebody's afraid of your new path or they've kind of, um, maybe they've seen you waver a little bit from time to time. So change is uncomfortable. So who's the person here? Who's the person? The five of swords. Uh-oh. High priestess. Oh, man. Yeah, Aquarius energy, Pisces energy. Doesn't have to be. They see your potential. They feel like you have the biggest potential ever. Tell me what this Five of Swords person is doing. King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords. The Six, oh, the, the Nine. Ninth House, Venus, and Scorpio. Wow. Okay, the Tower, yeah. Okay, so your supportive energies is someone trying to give you some peace of mind or perspective, especially regarding some long-term relationship or, or um, something that you've taken on before could be a position of yours. They want you to think thoroughly and think things through and not kind of go with your feeling in the moment. So someone could be telling you this in the coming period. Let me see where you are here. Someone feels like your relationship will be strained because of your time. They could be telling you, Capricorn, how are you going to have time to do all of this? Your relationships are going to fall by the wayside. Maybe even the relationship with them will be compromised is what they could be saying here. Yeah, they're wondering. They're wondering about that. So you're forfeiting that relationship for your goals. <laughs> Something like this. How, how will you find the time? You know, you're a... Um, I don't know. You're you're an engineer. You're a husband or a wife. You're a parent. How are you going to find the time? You're a daughter. You're a son. How are you going to find the time to do all this? That's what it kind of feels. So where is Capricorn in this energy? 
Yeah, judgment. Look at that. The fool. The tower, the ten of swords. Yeah. Don't project onto me. <laughs> it feels like you don't want to be projected on. Interesting, too, because you are freeing up space here. It could be physically or you just have intentions to free up your time and energy. Regardless, it could be cer certain relationships and it feels very weighty. So it could be you're getting rid of some dead weight. Maybe you're actually like shedding weight, but it feels more so you're just ready. Okay, you're ready. What is the undependable insincere energy? Five of Pentacles. Mm. How will you pay for this in the meantime? Yeah, how are you going to afford this? How will you be able to, you know, study? Where are you, Where's your money going to come from? That's kind of what this is saying to me. It's just, yeah, there's a person very concerned about this. The Ace of Wands, I feel like you got it. You really got this in the bag. You know what you're doing. You do have wisdom. You are grown. You know what you're talking about. Someone is a little bit afraid. But like I said, for some reason, this is supportive to you. Could be that it's giving you a better idea here because it's like you're getting more information here. You're getting more of like a this criticism that someone has for you is helping you. It's You're seeing so clearly, so clearly. And it's not going to drive you away from this path. I don't see that happening at all, actually. It's just helping you cover your bases. The Three of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, I feel like someone's worried about your guys' relationship or uh, how you're going to pay for everything at once. And like maybe you're going back to be an apprentice or you're learning something. And yeah, people are wondering how long it's going to take you and if you have, have enough to get by, really. It's something along those lines, whether it's your money or your time as well. I think it's both actually in this reading, but it could be different. Um, someone's also concerned about how your relationship is going to go. Like if you're going to end up, you know, foiling something as well. Someone is scared that you're not going to be able to work on your guy's relationship anymore. They're afraid. Yeah. There's a person quite afraid about that. Just saying. Okay. So yeah, someone will be doing a little bit of projecting. However, it's helping you. So I do see that. So let's see the unsupportive energies here. Uh, yeah, what's unsupportive is you doing things the same way anyway. You know that. I feel like this is the energy of like, I can I can respect, you know, where I've come from, how I've grown thus far, but I do know that there's more room to grow. And this is for me. This is what I want. So I see you doing this. So tell me about this right here. The unsupportive or not so supportive energies. Well, <laughs> so Uranus six house and the libra energy wow the hangman yeah so the thing is i feel like there may be some relationships and partnerships you're very sad to let go of let's say that you are moving or you have to quit a certain relationship you have to kind of put it away maybe for a period of time or just always maybe you're just getting rid of this there could be a group setting that you're just not going to be participating anymore, especially if this is at work. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can't hang out with you guys anymore. I'm going to be busy doing this or that instead. Or, you know, I have to go down this other path at this point in my life. I'm expanding my world. I'm expanding, you know, my knowledge base. I'm, I'm evolving as a person. That means I maybe won't have time for this or I'm not going to be seeing you guys anymore because I'm going to be somewhere else. It, it feels like this. Okay, so I see that this is a little bit unsupportive to you because maybe you like certain relationships that you have with people, certain bonds that you formed with others. But where there's a will, there's a way. If you're willing to like still spend time with people or you want to be spending time with people, I see that you're able to manage this. In other news, you also have some gossipy energy here. This has been coming out in the reading, so this feels very collective. For some reason, people like talking about others lately. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say about that. Why is the Three of Cups the unsupportive? Because of the star. People around you, Capricorn, um, maybe there's a, a, a water sign or an Aquarius specifically. So Pisces, maybe Cancer, Libra, Aquarius. This is um, energies of people who do not see things the way that you do. 
And I feel like this is a sobering moment for you. It's kind of a bittersweet moment. It's sad because you're growing and it's making you realize that certain relationships have a season and certain relationships have a time and place. And beyond that, you know, when someone starts to grow or outgrows a situation, a circumstance, a place, that relationships can become strained at that point. So I see you really looking at this here. This, this sudden change in this group setting, in this community of yours, it's, um, it's a little difficult. You may also be feeling that you're not receiving proper accolades, proper attention for your, your genius, actually, for your knowledge base. You don't feel supported here. You don't feel like your qualities or maybe you have a degree in something and your job is something completely different. It's like, I'm not using what I know. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like you feel you're just not being seen for your greatness. You have some great and good qualities that you're not able to utilize in this area, in this group setting. And it's a little frustrating here because, you know, you have more potential than that. You don't want to stay in a little box for the rest of your life is what I'm seeing. Why would you? So this is the energy of you ending a stagnant vibe. And it feels like you and yourself and you're realigning yourself with some form of a purpose. It's gorgeous. And yeah, the seven of cups. So people will be surprised here. The high priestess. What's this? Six of Wands, like I said, um, as soon as you start, the thing is right now you're not you're not being valued. You're not getting the proper attention for your good qualities and your abilities. You know that. You have other qualities and abilities that if you were to show them, you can get a lot of exposure. Fifth house, yeah, Venus and Leo, yeah. Maybe even fame. Or like this is you on the internet blowing up, all right? Then it looks like it's not happening where you are. So you're taking a different approach. Or again, people are not valuing your qualities here. So this is a frustration that's coming in. You're taking the appropriate steps, appropriate actions. It's going to work for you. But right now, yes, your circumstance has not been supporting your visibility, has not been supporting your actual God-given talents or your genius. It's not. And that's the frustrating energy here. So now you have to decide, you know, maybe I'm happy here because it's easy for me or I don't have to think twice in this environment or I've been doing this for so long. But now I know I need to grow, so I have to try something different. And I have to sacrifice this. So this is what I see you doing, my dear. Okay. Advice, guidance, words of wisdom for Capricorn regarding this or otherwise. Hmm. One moment. I want to look at something. What is this uh, again? Okay. What is this valid criticism, please? You could be critiquing yourself even, you know, and we've touched on that quite a bit in this reading. Tell me about this uh, valid criticism that Capricorn is. So, mm, Empress, two of pentacles. What is this? The eight, it could be at work, okay? Your growth prospects, where you're not growing exactly, how you're not utilizing your strengths, um, how you could be making more money. Maybe you've gotten complacent over the years because you got set, set into a pattern here. Criticism, um, perhaps there is a mother figure energy or, or a feminine energy here. It doesn't have to be because I feel like you are just remodeling yourself. That's what it looks like. Remodel or remodel is here. So the seven of wands. Yeah. The reason that you have not experienced change is because you have not accepted this criticism. It could be you and yourself criticizing yourself and your success forward. You're stuck here because you need to make a change that maybe it's uh, difficult to make. Yeah. Maybe the time that you have, the availability you have, you know, funds, money is very important to fund your lifestyle. But why are they criticizing Capricorn or what is exactly the criticism? I feel like you've been doing the same thing too long. The sun. You have it easy or you've been taking it easy when you don't feel comfortable doing that. Like um, it could be in a very satisfactory energy or like I said, something feels a little bit complacent. Yeah, the four of swords. Something needs to change, Capricorn. It's just what it is. The four of cups. That's why you're not happy. You know that you are worth more or... 
you have envisioned more for yourself and this is the period of time that you're going to be experiencing that so the five of pentacles yeah you're not satisfied with your potential that you actually have and you need to utilize your strengths from this point forward and you're also building on some certain strengths as well so the advice guidance we have is the two of cups fruition exactly provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of god yeah you have an expansive intelligence you're expanding your mind you're expanding your skill set you could be learning more so something very cerebral okay i don't know what it is it could be like techie sciencey <laughs> um you know something that you're into here is very uh beneficial to you it's time it is very much so time reconciliation you need to get back to that i feel like you had this idea before or you know life got in the way of you pursuing something but this is meant for you right now for sure now is time and there's difficulty of course especially with the growing process growing pains is kind of what it feels like but it's a bittersweet one it's not like so terrible for you i feel like it's more exciting nice guys where's the wisdom for capricorn regarding this or otherwise spirit page of cups divine comfort gives consolation and protection from one's enemies yeah these enemies here maybe they're just gossiping but you're being comforted you know protection ten of wands spiritual communication influences religious men teachers and men of law so is it law interesting i'm hearing protocol okay here's the deal you are following spirit the way that spirit is guiding you whether you realize this or not and that's why this is showing up for you because something is just in tune with your soul like your path and, and that's why it's showing up there's people of course gossiping like we said but you're gonna be um consoled there's divine comfort here. Like spirit wants you to know it's okay that they are going to protect you here. No matter what people are saying, if they're crapping on your situation, let them, okay? You will get the last laugh at the end of the day. You're the one who's going to come out on top and they're going to be sorry that they stayed the same. So, I mean, that's their choice in life, right? It's You are on growth path right now. So I see there's teachers that are very influential here, men of law and religious men. So again, this could be someone of a mentor here, whether this is you or this will be you one day. Like you could even be teaching one day this. Yeah. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Interesting reading. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Type berry if this resonated with you berry like strawberry blueberry b-e-r-r-y in the comments to let me know it was your vibe i don't know why berry maybe that's a meaning for you but feel free to check out other places i'll see you next time